It might be cold outside, but it is hot, piping hot inside the Paul Rodriguez <laughs> glass blowing studio. We're with Paul, who makes all of this beautiful artwork that you see around us. What's it been like for you through COVID-19 to keep it going? Uh, well, I'm still here first off, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, you know, it's been a difficult time to be an artist, but you know, I'm not alone. Everybody's got hard times out there and um, we finally got some government assistance. So that helped out, um, you know, took the, uh, the, the brakes off of things a little bit, but uh, I've just been skating and, and trying to make work. And uh, it has given, you know, I've lost some jobs, like a lot of my corporate clients have gone away, but it's given me the opportunity to go back to making some of my larger art pieces and stuff. So you've been really busy. There's lots <coughs> in here. Can you show us? Sure, what sure, happy to. Here? Well, you know, there's always a, a, a wide variety of things we make here. So, uh, you know, I starting from some of my custom artwork pieces that I'm always trying to make, but um, the real money jobs and corporate things bring in more money. So these are some awards that are going to go to uh, Hamilton McMaster Radiology conference coming up. Uh, I've got some Hamilton Halton Construction uh, Hall of Fame awards. I got Hamilton City Housing and then uh, automotive company, Cox Automotive, another custom commission. And you can see I make things from, from a low budget point from my hummingbirds, which have always been a hit, um, all the way into sort of larger pieces in the platter. I try to make sure I hit all the price points so I can you know, do business with everybody. Yeah, really so. beautiful and colorful. And you're gonna take us through yeah, how you make yeah, all this stuff. That's the magic of glass the studio. Going. So, So here we are. This is everything that you saw on the front side in the little gallery there, we make on the back side over here. So... How hot does it get back here, Paul, for the well, glass? Well, just for the, the furnace alone, it's about 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! So you don't want to be here in July. <laughs> uh, it does get over 40 degrees most days. So we, we drink a lot of water and stuff. <laughs> um, we work on a variety of different irons. I'm going to gather some glass now on this one over here. It's really bright, so I put my sunglasses on and kind of like scooping honey from a jar, catching the drip and all. You can see that with a little bit of turning, I get the material here and it's already starting to cool. But if I stop turning, it would fall right to the ground. You gotta be careful there's no drips. Well, that's it. Sometimes it does happen. We call it the cup and ball game, you know? <laughs> so, and you can already see the colors removing from the glass. It's slowing down and it'll freeze up like that. Um, and in a second, I'm gonna make a hummingbird. That's right, as it dries, we're yep. gonna get into some of the creations on Morning yeah. <laughs> All right. It's heating up at the Paul Rodriguez glass blowing studio. We're about to get creative, Paul. What are we making? We're going to make a hummingbird. It's one of my more popular items. I've been making them for over 20 years now. Um, just you pretty much Paul. have it down to an art, too. I do. It's, you know, <laughs> glass blowing is very repetitive. It's how you kind of learn things. So we're just going to put a little spray of color out. You'll see it sticks right to the glass. That's kind of the, one of the magical things about adding color to the glass. This is just one way of several to add uh, the color there. So uh, it sticks right to the outside and I could add more or less depending on um, you know, what my flavor is or what I choose. How do you know when you've added enough? <clears throat> um, intuition or vision maybe. <laughs> you know, with this one, it's more of a spray. So I, I want the, the light to come through it. Um, but I don't want it to be too dark either because you know the natural glass, the clear glass is still beautiful on its own. So And you've got a lot of experience. You actually teach people that they would want to learn yeah. too, right? Yeah, I teach uh, like through the DVSA, the Dundas Valley School of Art, or through, um, through my own private lessons, uh, which can be found on my website. But during COVID right now, we haven't had much chance to do that um, because it is, tough to uh when you're teaching glass blowing to you know stay six feet apart and and uh obey the laws of, of covid here so 
right now I've been doing a lot of solo work. Just like you're doing right here. Just Can like, you describe what you're making and what you're doing? Well, I set up the hummingbird three quarters of the way, and then the glass now is, is cold, so I'm gonna go heat it back up again. Um, you never really wanna let the glass get too cold or you end up spending more time heating it up. But you can see as, as I go in here, it'll start to move again. Not as fast as out of the furnace, but I gotta juggle it so and keep its shape on center. So What's it's hot. Your it's hot ideal enough. working temperature. Ah well, uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ideal work. Uh, okay. You know, there's a saying that says hot good, cold bad. Yeah. Um, and the longer you have, the longer more I can heat it up, the longer I have to. Um, make the bird itself so you can see now i've got 90 percent of the bird done i'm going to start cutting the head in it's just remarkable you make it look so easy how many hummingbirds do you think you've done <laughs> uh ten thousand maybe i don't know uh thousands for sure um you know i, th I think sometimes that's a question like you never ask a woman how old she is, <laughs> you know, this is, I just, I have no idea. So, lots. <laughs> how long did it take you to get proficient at it? Because um, it seems like it just comes to you very naturally. I, you know, everybody falls in love with glass blowing, but I equivalent it to, to learning an instrument. How long does it take to play guitar or a piano? Some people learn it very fast. Some people it takes years, some people, uh, I still consider myself learning. Um, you know, there's, there's things that I'd like to practice that I never get to make. Um, so once in a while, if I can, I will make, uh, take, take, take time and practice some techniques that I've always been in love with. So this just takes the sharp edge off the beak. Is that the finishing touch? That's the finishing touch. Oh, it's bending a bit, so I just straighten it a bit there. And then I'll grab it, so it's very hot. And then we'll go over to the kiln here. Everything I make goes in the kilns. Uh, they sit at 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So I gotta be kind of swift when I put my arms in there. Sometimes I lose my arm here, but that's okay. It just smells bad, so. Beautiful hummingbird. <laughs> you gotta stay with us more from the Glass Studio with Paul awesome. Rodriguez. Okay. Nice. Paul's starting to make a glass bead here. It's part of a big project that you're doing for the city of Hamilton, Paul. Can you give us the details? Yeah, we're very excited. Uh, me, myself, uh, Angela de Montigny, uh, Jeremy Freiberg at um, Cobalt Connects. Uh, we're all involved. At, also, I should mention La Fontaine Iron Works. We're all involved in a project called All Our Relations. And what that is, is that there are gonna be new structures on the, the Hamilton waterfront uh, coming in tw late 2021 or early 2022. Um, and these, these are gonna be large panels that are 40, there's five of them. There's gonna be 40 feet in the air. Um, and each panel has, is represented with uh, indigenous teachings um, for, for us and the public and everybody to learn from. Um, you know, so each panel will have, you know, a couple thousand beads on them. I'm responsible for making all the beads, which we're kind of making one now. Um, it's a daunting task of making 8,000 pieces the same, but, um, you, you know, it'll be a, one of Hamilton's newest and most beautiful structures um, ever erected. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing that and chip away at it one by one. What were you rolling the bead in before? It looked like baking powder. <laughs> it's actually glass, glass coloring powder as well. You can see here, as I do this, um, the, as the glass cools, the color is coming out of it. So, so now you can see we were doing a, a, a ruby red. This is gonna be a transparent red when it comes down. All the colors in glass blowing actually glow uh, orange. So it doesn't matter if it's a black, blue, red, yellow, white, um, everything will glow a, a really 
bright orange until it comes down in temperature. Then you see the real color. So now, Justin, I'm going to get you to help me here. All right. Hold me to work. Okay, so I'm trying to freeze this up on center. Are you sure a rookie so, can do it? Yeah, yeah. I just need some muscles when I push <laughs> against it. Let's try. Go. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. You're going to just keep this turning a little bit. When, I, when I'm ready, you right. come over and just hold it right here, nice and firm, okay? You got it. And keep it rolling. All right, Paul's getting out the drill. So this is the way we do it. Uh, come on. Is that the finish? Okay, ready? Keep holding it. Here we go. We're pushing through it. There, we just went all the way through. Okay, now, Justin, do you think you can bring that to the glory hole? I can, yeah. Okay. We'll see you later on Morning Live. Awesome. We're casting at the Paul Rodriguez glass blowing studio. Look at all that glass you got there, Paul. What's going on? Well, we're making a glass tile or block here. They're kind of like glass paintings on their own. Uh, it's a little bit different process where I scoop a giant ladle of glass out of the furnace. Oh, <laughs> and we catch that. And um, now we let it melt in. Now, Justin, I need you to torch that little tail that, so it evens out the glass. All right, let's do it. You can feel Keep, the heat there, I Paul. know, I know. Well, now you're really going to feel the heat because I'm going to sit you down. Remember right. how it's, we talked about it? Sit close to the edge, grab the tweezers, and you, you're going to be the artist here. I'm going to get you another gather glass. So we're going to try to make a flower, but there's no way it's going to be anywhere near the hummingbird that you made earlier. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, it's you know, touching glass for the first time is a, an experience most people will never forget. Uh, it's quite a, on quite a few people's bucket list. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop this off to you and kind of watch the glass fall. As long as I get out of here with no burns, then we'll be good. <laughs> well, sometimes it does happen, but not today. So you can dip the tweezers in the water behind you a little bit. You're right, it gets it's, real sticky. Yeah, you can, oh, keep turning. Oh, nice oh. grab, whoa, <laughs> that's okay. I would grab the other tool now, the, the flat masters. Yeah, and try. keep pinching. Just keep turning and pinching. And pull out gently as you do it. Beautiful yeah, rose keep going. coming here, don't you think? Keep going, you're doing great. Keep pulling harder now. As it gets colder, try to stretch it even more. Okay, now give it, start pulling harder and more lo longer lengths. Pull, 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 pull. Turn. Hard to get a grip here, Paul. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's the touch. Whoa. Good thing I put my safety goggles on. Yeah. That's... Paul, you gave a great crash course here. <laughs> You'd obviously be able to do way better, but. That's pretty good for a flower. Now I would, I would take the jack tools and try to pinch a line in the back here as it's still warm. And then, we'll, and then just turn it 180. Give it a quick turn and try to pinch another one. And then straighten out the flower. We'll be able to keep that. Awesome. Be a nice gift for my yeah, mom. Yeah, it's like think? a hibiscus flower. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when in a second, we're gonna finish that off and you're gonna bring it over here to the crack off bench. I'll turn this off, move this over. Okay. So I'll make a bit of room for you here. Rest it right on that V crook there. Okay, nope, just a little bit back more. Just the little top part, yeah, bring your back hand down. Turn it once, so it's falling back down still. And then um, I'll do it this way. So I'm gonna put some water on here for you. You can hear the sizzle of that. Uh, okay, now Justin, take the basket of this and tap the iron. Okay, hard. There you go. It just dropped off. Now we're gonna put that in the kiln and it'll cool for the night. 
beautiful way to end our time here at Paul Rodriguez Glass Blowing Studio. Air, air high five. Great job, man. There we go. Thanks for teaching me. Yeah, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna put this block away, actually. That's, that's, that's it's really cool.